Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Evie and I am doing the video response tag from Kitty Scrapper. It's been going around lately and I thought I would participate. I've never been in front of the camera. This is the first time. We're testing it out. I'm a little shy. Not really. You know, <laughs> all you've been seeing is my hands the whole time and my voice. That's it. So, let's get started. There are seven questions or so to answer and I will do my best to answer all of them. So the first one says, what made you start your channel? Um, what made me start here? The videos, the, like the other YouTubers I follow inspired me. I have been watching Two Peas in a Bucket. I have been watching uh, Chamel's old videos. I love, for the last year, watching Erit's and Missy Whedon's process videos. I just love process videos. And mixed media people that are also on YouTube, I love watching their stuff and I always now enhance my own artwork on the side um, without being on YouTube yet. But I don't know, there's just something about that I, it, that I was like, you know what? I can do that too. I can do that too. Let me get a camera. So I brought my little handy cam or whatever this is called that I'm on, um, on Black Friday last year. <laughs> and I didn't film anything <laughs> till April. I was shy. I thought none of my stuff was really that good. And it was finally like encouraging, you know, talks from family and friends. They're just like, go ahead and do it, honey, just do it. Like you have so much to offer. So that's really how it started. And you know, I follow a lot of blogs, so I love like A Beautiful Mess with Miss Elsie on there and Kelly Perky's blog and I follow Allie Edwards. So I always read and kept up with things like that and scrapbooked for years, but never thought I could do it. And I literally watch YouTube videos all day long. Well, not like all day long, but you know, um, in only any of my free time that I'm not scrapbooking or at work, I'm watching YouTube videos. So <laughs> I know there are a lot of people out there like me that love this community of women and so with that you know I used to scrapbook and get only my supplies from Michaels or Joann's and Hobby Lobby and it wasn't until following people on YouTube that I found subscription kit services like Hip Kit and Click Kits and all the other versions of Citrus Twist and Scraptastic and Studio Calico and all of these um, subscriptions that you can get you know all these pa beautiful papers and the embellishments and then coordinating stickers and all of it sent to your door this was like groundbreaking to me um this year so <laughs> i was like i can do this too and i do have a corresponding blog with it and before my blog was just about um me going gluten-free and dairy-free because of my health i break out in rashes and hives and weird stuff occurs when i eat it and that was what my blog was about like two years ago and it was still life with Evie and and not to say I got bored with it but I felt like there was no one else writing about going gluten-free which is why I started my blog because it was hard to find like people with my condition as well and then when I thought about changing my blog over to my scrapbooking I thought that was like the easy switch so that's what revamped um, my blog and that is why I started my YouTube channel because I didn't have videos for my blog before it was just me writing so that's how I started my YouTube channel is that good enough answer I don't know I don't know anyways uh, second question is what is your scrapping style my scrapping style is colorful bold colorful <laughs> floral um, and a lot of mixed media that is the one thing I would say has been incorporated into my scrapbooking style so much is adding mixed media. I love it. Like, love it so much. I don't even know how I started. I think Arit does a lot and, and Miss Missy Whedon does a lot of mixed media. But I also follow like D uh, Dina Wakely and Diane uh, Reevely from Ranger. They're the ones that do the dilution, Reevely does. And Jane Davenport so like I watch so many different channels that it was inevitable for my scrapbooking style to change and so yeah that's what my scrapbooking style and, and don't get me wrong there's never really any layouts these days that I don't use mixed media I mean it's very rare like if I do I do do just you know paper scrapbooking um, 
But I love incorporating mixed media, whether it's watercolor, or paint, or stenciling, or stamping, or whatever it may be into my layouts. I love it. I love the diversity of it. So that would be, and, you know, and color. Like, you'll never see me use brown. You'll never see me use greens, like dark green. Like, I love neon colors. I love anything pink and turquoise and yellow. Orange, yellow, and pink. Oh, my colors. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. Um, yeah. So that's that's my scrapbooking style. Um, question three. How has your style changed? My style has changed so much. I mean, in the beginning, when I scrapped high school and college undergrad, I would be very basic. It was just my photos on pattern paper, photo pattern paper, glue it, and that was it. Um, I started to cut my photos into circles a lot, maybe, in, back then. I did very little matting, if anything. It was just on pattern paper. Like, I was obsessed with paper, always. I was always off office supplies, back to school time was my favorite. I always loved paper. And, or I used to also, like, cut the people out, you know, and have, like, <laughs> pattern paper like that. Uh, I did like almost like a lot of uh, Smashbook styles. Like I always have saved like ticket stubs, movie stubs, and wristbands, and you know thing like memorabilia. I've always done that, and I would always like glue it on the same page. Like here's my ticket stub. Here's me and my friends, and I love that movie when we saw Little Mermaid. That was it. <laughs> um, and I remember getting a box of like those. Remember those packs of scissors, um, like ten pack that had all the decorative edges. That was a style, like that was a phase for a while, like just cutting all of the pictures with those patterned scissors and putting them on pattern paper. And that was it. I never did embellishments. I never added stickers. I never added sequences. I never knew about, you know, doing clusters. And and it was, everything's changed. It's changed in a good way. And it's changed to be, I would say, more artistic, more beautiful. I, I love flipping through my albums. I love flipping through my old albums. I just, that's why I do it. I just, I love, love it. Love it. Love flipping through other people's work. Like I went to the scrapbook expo and stuff and all I was doing was taking like inspirational pictures, you know, that way I can scrap lift stuff later. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we inspire others and I love this community because I've been embraced. I've only been doing this for four months now and it is like the best choice I ever did. It, it really is. It really has changed my perspective and like how I spend my time and allocate like time to do scrapbooking and not just watch TV. Like if I can watch TV, I'd rather be scrapbooking. And I used to be a big reader, but if I'm reading, I'm not scrapbooking, you know? So it's like I go to work, you eat, you shower, you do your chores and I'm scrapbooking. Just that, That's it. And I'm okay with that. And I love it. Hence, you can tell I don't have kids yet. I don't um, I did get engaged, but I don't have kids yet. So yeah. Okay. Next question. What project have you been meaning to start but haven't yet? <sighs> I've been meaning to start like scrapbooking. My mom has a big old photo box tin of our childhood pictures that are just sitting in un chronological order just shoved in this box and it's fun like when my sister comes to town we like flip through it and like tease each other about old Christmas pictures when we were like six years old and such but that needs to be put in an album. And so I haven't decided if I'm going to do like pocket pages or scrapbook pages or maybe a combination of all of it. But that would be a huge endeavor to take on. And I really would need to get it in chronological order first and then attack that. would love to do that. Um, also, I have actually, in the years I've been scrapbooked and finding YouTube for like three years or two years I've been following YouTube, I've never participated in December Daily. So that is exciting because I just got an email today from Allie Edwards. I'm on her email list and she's already preparing her December daily kits for pre-order. <laughs> I'm doing December daily. I'm doing December daily this year. I so am. I so am. So I'm going to do that probably. That's a fun project to do too. And that's it. Oh, well, I would, you know, and, and another thing that I haven't started or I would want to start or be, I want to join and make and qualify to be on a design team. I think that would be so good. I think it's great. I love following those people that are part of the Hip Kit Club or Citrus Twist or Click Kits where I'm at. Um, I love that. And I, I have applied. I haven't made any yet, but that's okay because it's not stopping me. But that would be another project too. What collections would you say from your burning craft room or new, new or old? Hmm. 
well, well, I don't know about anything old, but overall, I, I, I like more like brands better than to say a collection. Like I love anything that Heidi Swap does. Ugh. Any paper pad Heidi Swap pull, pulls out or puts out, Heidi Swap. I love anything Dear Lizzie does. I love all of her collections. I always have. You know, they're just fun. They're whimsical. They're the colors I like. They're just enough girly, but then they have like a nice bold stripe in there that kind of, you know, can bring it all and, and stabilize it down. I think it's great. And I love crepe paper. Anything crepe paper does is beautiful. And again, a mix of that, you know, neutral patterns, but then the real whimsical, girly, floral, feminine stuff. It's very good love those collections. So those are the ones I would come into my room and save. Uh, what collections do you regret buying? Hmm. There's no collection I regret buying, but I will say that I regret in the beginning, you know, a couple years ago and stuff, I regret buying themey paper and collections. You know what I mean? Like I regret buying like a whole slew of Halloween paper. Because only, you know, like in the, t in, you know, in my silly head, I put Halloween pictures on Halloween paper, you know, if it's full of jack-o'-lanterns or stuff. And like, other than that, I'm never using jack-o'-lantern paper. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, Christmas is different. Like, I always can go back to Christmas and, and kind of use it and I gift wrapped with it and stuff and make cards. But like, you know, Valentine's Day themed paper. Like, ugh, unless, if it's decked out in hearts and it says I love you and all this love stuff then I really don't I find it hard to use it in other collections is what I mean um you know I don't like buying just straight birthday party collections or just straight you know what I mean like themey collections I just don't like it I'd rather go with more of a theme like summer or spring or winter and that way I can kind of mesh and mix a lot of things together is really what I would say. I don't regret anything with you, you know? Yeah. Which is why I love the subscription, the <laughs> which is why I love the subscription kits because they give you a nice variety like for your kits and they all make sense and you get a like variety of companies and I just think it's great idea and you can see it in my albums. I think it's really nice to see. So that would be the answer to that one. Um, where would you like to take your channel in the next year? I feel that I would like to get on a better schedule with my channel. I feel like I still want to do my 12x12 12 12 layouts. I feel like I want to show you more of my Project Life albums. I do Project Life off camera, so I keep with that more on the side and keep up with that, like, like I said, off camera, but I can do those layouts. And I do a lot of art journaling off camera as well, which I feel like I want to incorporate into my channel. And then I also feel like I want to start maybe diversifying my channel a little bit where I would have like monthly favorites, um, things like that, because like I want to share like a good book with you and I want to share like a recipe on how to make, you know, great gluten free muffins. And I want to share with you, you know, like my recipe for making DIY laundry detergent. Like there are things that I would want to share. And, and that is where I feel like I want to diversify, like show you more. Like my channel's always been called Life with Evie and I want to show you more of my life. Like kind of my eating habits and such and my health and things. Because I've had to change over a lot of products. Like I used to be able to buy everything drugstore products and now I have to go and buy everything from Whole Foods or Vitacost because I get weird rashes when I have a lot of chemicals in my toiletries and such. And I just like informative like I feel like there's other people out there with like my condition or that want to go more natural um in their household products and such and maybe need a resource because I, I've been through it I've stumbled and walked and stumbled and walked so I feel like I want to incorporate that and take my channel there a little bit more and maybe even vlogging I literally am probably the most klutziest say I have like serendipity like I have like this accidental luck that occurs in my life regularly. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's comical. Like I'm, I mean, me and my Miguel, all we do to, all the day long is laugh at the silly things we do and our inside jokes and everything else. So I kind of feel like maybe vlogging would be fun for us because a day in a life in this little Puerto Rican girl's, um, you know, life is pretty funny. Honestly, it really is because funny shit happens all the time. <laughs> 
Um, I don't have kids yet, like I said, so, you know, but you do know my dog Zoe, so I'm a dog mom. And I'm in the process of adopting another dog. I'm getting another dog soon. Hopefully another girl. I want another girl. I want another girl dogs. I want two hot dogs. <laughs> I really do. So I am adopting another dog. So that's where, what do you think? Leave a comment below and I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, last question. Who would you want to collaborate with on a scrappy challenge? That's a good question. Um, Cause I love so many people. Now, some of them might be a reach cause I know that they're very busy and demands and everything else. Um, but I would love to work with Erit. Erit, I always say your name wrong, I'm sorry. Or Missy, love her. Um, Tracy XO from Studio Calico, I love her Project Life layouts. They are beautiful. I love Wilna Furstenberg, if you know her. Um, Sandra from Stars and Palms, she's really great. Oh yeah, it's Jen, she's great. She's so sweet and her work is beautiful and her layouts with her two kids, they're just great. She has a great eye for color and use of color and I think her layouts are great. Um, Purple Mailbox, I watch a lot of her things, they're beautiful. She does very, almost toned down, it's almost like if I were to give her my scrapbook albums and she would put her spin on it and put like the white paint on everything and tone everything down, I'm sure it looked just as beautiful. Like I love that. I want like the happy medium of my colorful, bold self and then that nice, softer side. Like a don't do anything soft. I feel like that would be a nice scrappy challenge. Um, Inky Quill, she's amazing. I love her accent. So if Inky Quill is watching this, hello. Um, Kelly Perky, is that a stretch? Do you think she would work with me? I love her style with Project Life. It's great. Um, I'm hoping with Modern Wit, and I love Miss Lena. I'm doing hopefully a collab with her. If anyone wants to do a collab, I am so game for that. Like, leave a comment below to do a collab. Like anyone out there with the channel, let's let's get up, let's make up, and do something because it's so much fun. Uh, who else would there be? Can I ask Elsie from Beautiful Mess? No, she wouldn't even work with me, huh? Um, okay, yeah, so that's, I think, all the questions, um, yeah, I think so, okay, I think I answered them all, um, you probably saw my shirt, you know, um, it's a dolphin game today, or no, it's not a game, it's not football season yet, everyone, um, we're season ticket holders, it's dolphin time, you see my colored nails, orange and teal, orange and teal, yeah, I'm one of those girls, I go to football games, I'm going to a football game right now, <laughs> Anyways, okay, and Anyways, um, thank you so much see. for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.